This is this rare event when we got a call a few months ago from a utility worker who, who had, had seen this you know, dying or dead uh, gold eagle on the side of the road. I just got a random call and you know, as so many people in this room did, we just sort of decided to help. That it was worth you know, setting aside whatever our priorities were in the moment to just you know, take a moment out of the macro systems level conservation that we are so often focused on to refocus on this one life form in this one moment that we can help. We actually do a lot of wildlife care at our hospital, so it was just another one coming in. It just happens to be a very big, magnificent bird and the enthusiasm of Ben trying to help it, you can't say no to him. <laughs> at times, very complex surgeries were performed on on this eagle, she had her initial pins put in, and then a, and then a failed pin, and then, then had to have an emergency surgery as that initial surgery failed. Uh, there was a period of days where, you know, the, the bird's life was, you know, was a bad coin flip, um, and that there was very little hope for this animal to survive. She was able to pull through. She was an, had to be anesthetized, you know, four times to have this. Uh, be able to come through. She, you know, had many feathers damaged, and it's beautiful that we were able to coordinate back with Picky to bring the bird back up here, and that we're going to be able to release her right where she was found, almost exactly where she was found, giving her the best chance to reoccupy her former territory and hopefully reunite with her mate. It, it's a beautiful feeling. My concern is for its stamina and if it's going to get enough food during the winter here. So we're going to keep our fingers crossed and hope that, that it's at full capabilities when the weather clears and finds its mate. We're all hopeful for about that.